You know, Chris Carter here from the Fight City, last call right here. Uh, I know usually people people talk about fighting Tony Harris, and they always say he fades after six. That's been his motto. Were you surprised that he didn't get tired? Or was that moment, you know, the seventh through twelfth round where all of a sudden he's either gassing or he's just holding his hands down? Were you surprised that he was better than what I think a lot of people expected? I mean, you, you're a fighter, you know you're fighting 12 rounds, you're supposed to be in shape. You can't congratulate somebody off of being in shape and, and getting around, getting rounds in that they, you know, not fading. I don't expect no boxer that I get in for them to, to be looking forward to him fading and not uh, next question. I know Charlie, um, Xavier Porter, we're going to fight that round, shoot the fire. My question to you is if we challenge, the, you know, the decision and you get a no contest, um, would you want to take the rematch immediately or would you prefer just to go straight after just uh, Jared Hurd? I mean, I think that's something that we'll look for, look, look into, you know what I mean, challenging the contest, because they got to go back over there and look that shit over there. That was, that was horrible, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm, I'm literally already moving on to the next, you know what I mean? He, I am Jamil Charlo. I am one of the Charlo twins. And, and I, like tonight, you know what I mean? I got to, you know, I got to let tonight just harvest in my soul a little bit. This ain't, this is something new to me, you know what I mean? So. Um, I let I let a lot of people down to my just just by not getting a decision, and I know it sucks that I that that I say that, but you know I got I got my team, I got my twin brother, and it's like this is something that belongs to us. I feel like you won, bro. Yeah, I mean, so let me tell you, everybody in this room felt like you won. Of course, of course, he even told me in his main words, it's like right after the fight, man, bro. Crazy, you're a true champion. You really won. It's like you're a true champion. I'm hearing that. And I'm like, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to get my hand raised and I'm thinking, you know. But I guess they want more entertainment, so they set the shit up some sometime. Andy Emilio, Elias News, Jamal. The talk in media role was that maybe a little bit of the sourness from your twins' loss kind of leaked into your fight. Was that the energy going in? Did it leave you a little different? Did, did, did the style? kind of get in there, was the energy messed up? Man, I hot right, I hot right in the ring after my brother lost. Like, it wasn't no time to think about it. It was, you know, emotions was flowing. It is what it is. I said put us back on the same card again. I love it. Thank y'all, TGB. Thank you, uh, Al Hamlin there. Fox. Barclay Center, Brooklyn, everybody. We'll show back here. Awesome, 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 awesome yeah, night of awesome. Just choose different judges. Jamel, Gustavo Neri. Talking to Jared Hurd in the hallway, he mentioned how he was torn apart that you didn't win. He thought you won the fight, and he said respects to you, even though um, it didn't go your way, that you conducted yourself in a professional manner. What's your reactions towards Jared Hurd showing you the respect? I don't like no boxes in my weight class, and I'm still going to like you. Hey, I'm ready to fight, and you did do, do yeah, All they did was just fill this jet up with jet fuel. They just started something that they really don't want to happen. I'm not Mr. Nice Guy, and I'm not going to ever be Mr. Nice Guy. They just jacked it all up. Thank you. You know, if you take a more active role in uh, improving judges for your fights, you obviously get a pool of judges that are afforded to you in the fights, and you can look at that yourself. But you take a more active role on that now moving forward? Definitely. Now i got to look at it because I should have learned that from the trial fight, knowing that they try to give me a majority of decisions on that fight. Knowing that I won that fight, dropped him twice, and if I hurt this kid a lot tonight, and they still let this be what it is, you know.